My name is Mary Ann Prater and I'm the Dean of the David O. McKay School of Education. It's my honor to thank the Sorensen family and particularly Beverly for the endowment that was provided to us for the arts in elementary education. Behind me is the mural that was commissioned by the, the School of Education on behalf of Beverly. It depicts the story that's often told of the Maypole when she was asked to be the Maypole, um, to hold the Maypole for the, for the dance. And um, it's, it was commissioned by us, but done by Robert Barrett, one of the arts professors here at BYU. It's a beautiful portrayal of all different kinds of art forms. And we've got it here in the McKay School, in the David L. McKay building at BYU, and we're thrilled to have it here on permanent display. We want to thank the Sorensen family for all that they have done, not only for BYU, but throughout the state of Utah for arts and education. It's a critical area that is often neglected, and we're so appreciative of the monetary support and the moral support that the family has provided on behalf of all the children in the state of Utah. Thank you. My personal life has been deeply impacted by my experiences with and the time spent with Beverly. And I want to thank the Sorensen family for sharing her with us and so many across the state. Her personal um, commitment to these kinds of things, her, her desire uh, to have others feel what she felt about the importance of these things has transformed many people and I'm one of those. I extend my deepest gratitude to the family uh, for all they've done to help us memorialize Beverly and our commitment to see that her vision continues. My name is Marilyn Barrett. I'm currently the chair of the Department of Dance, but I consider myself a lifelong warrior for children. I am committed to seeing children express themselves in dance, in music, in theater, in visual arts, in photography, in anything that uh, fulfills that, that yearning to create. And I have worked with children long enough to know that they have it and it's deep, deeply, deeply embedded in them. I'm so grateful to have found a kindred spirit who had that same commitment, that same warrior-like focus, but such a joy, and that was Beverly Taylor Sorensen. Now I'd heard about Beverly for quite some time before I met her, and I'll never forget the night I met her in 2002 in the Springville Museum of Art. I had a group of dancers there, dance educators, who had presented a, a performance that was a response to the art in the museum. And Beverly found me, and before I knew it was her, she said, who are you, and what are you doing here, and tell me about this, and she, her curiosity, and her smile and her brightness and her, her intelligence just captured me right away and then finally and I said and I haven't met you yet and she said well I'm Beverly Taylor Sorensen I just about fell over I'd never met her and only heard of her and I just felt fell in love with her and that love affair is still going on I think about her often I'm so grateful for the legacy and the passion and the drive and the financial support that she's given to her dreams and to the needs of children to experience the arts. I, I hope and pray that this energy goes forward for many years to come. And what a great day to celebrate her and her wonderful story of how it all began for her with this beautiful painting by Robert Barrett. It's just amazing and I'm just thrilled to see it. I'm Diane Acey, and I'm one of the lead professional development partners in the Beverly Taylor Sorensen program here at BYU. And I met Beverly years ago. In fact, it was when they actually had the pilot program going with the schools up in Davis and some of those remote locations. And um, she's always been such a special, special person. In fact, I've loved her passion. I love her passion for the arts, and I love her passion for the family. We had a connection because I knew her brother, Robert. He had, I'd gone to Israel and he had actually sung on the Mount of Olives and also um, overlooking Bethlehem and beautiful, beautiful voice. And when I found out that she was that tailor, it was so fun that she had such a reverence for her brother and she had actually had his biography written and such a passion and love for her family. But I also love Beverly in so many other ways. In fact, I'm 
as it's coming up on the anniversary of her death, I remember her fondly in May always because she was, it's like Mother's Day, it's that season when you look at birth and renewal. And she was a mother of art. She was a mother of arts education. She was a mother of children, not just her physical family, but all the children in Utah, all the students, all those that love to dance and draw and sing and act. She was that mother to them and it's been an honor to work with the program, it's been an honor to meet and work with her family, and I just pledge all my devotion to the program and to the ideals and the standards that Beverly set up. She's a wonderful woman, and it's been an honor to know her. Thank you. I'm Robert Barrett. I'm a professor in the design department here at BYU. Well, I'm the artist that painted the painting, and uh, it was a great subject for me, being an artist, to paint about a celebration of the arts, including visual arts, music, dance. Well, I had heard that Beverly Sorensen was Queen of the May when she was young, and that it was a pivotal experience for her. And we discussed early on, should we paint her in there as a little girl? Should we try to paint her in? Or should we try and find more of a symbol for her, a metaphor for her? And so I think the Maypole became kind of a symbol for her without trying to paint an exact likeness of her specifically going through that event. But I thought that was maybe a better way to do it because her influence is going to be more pervasive anyway, rather than a specific point in time, right? This endowment is going to help children throughout the years and throughout the ages, right? As they grow up and it's not just one girl having a, an experience, but it's uh, sort of a universal kind of uh, celebration of the creative experience, right? Our Dean said today, and what I really like too, in the whole process, which you're documenting in the story, but our Dean today said, well, I love the quote from Alma, as do I, from that which is small, proceedeth that which is great, right? So here's this event that happens in her life that then transpires and grows into something larger the process of the mural, it starts with a sketch, it starts with an idea, it goes into a color study, it then gets expanded with the different, you know, the specific dimensions, another drawing is done, and then eventually it's transferred to canvas and painted, right? But it starts with a small idea that grows into the mural. Well, I personally, obviously, am in the arts, so I would love to have more rhetoric around the value of arts education. It seems like with STEM we're talking about engineering and math and science. What about the arts? I know there is a STEAM initiative here and there, but I think some of the greatest scientists and the greatest engineers were artists. My dad was an engineer and he drew and painted. I grew up in a family where my parents were both um, artists, not professionally, but <coughs> we grew up with that, you know. So, so um, it wasn't antithetical to think of an engineer also being a painter, doing oil paintings or drawings, you know. My name is Randy Booth. I'm the Associate Dean of the College of Fine Arts and Communications. Just wanted to express on behalf of our students and the students throughout public schools that we have the opportunity of interacting with through the partnership, our deep gratitude to Beverly and the entire Sorensen family. We have changed the lives of countless children in the public schools through the arts. And so much of what we've been able to accomplish in recent years has been a direct result of Beverly and her family's generosity. We're deeply grateful and we're thrilled to celebrate their contribution to the children of Utah and to the children of our nation. We're grateful to be a partner with them in bringing all of the arts to every child every day. Thanks very much. My name is Emmy and I was a model on the painting team. I really, really like this Like painting or what? Painting and drawing. What about you, Lily? Like what about dancing or singing? Like that? You like that? Like that? This is right. Getting to be in it. Me too. I think that part was really cool. I think it was really exciting because I wasn't.
wasn't scared at all, and I really liked doing art, and I was inspired by him, so it was really cool that I got to be one of his Oh, great. You too? Beverly told us over and over how important it is that every child feels special. And now we have this painting in the building to remind us every day that every child feel, should feel valued and unique and that learning should be fun. It's such a wonderful tribute to Beverly and the message she left with us. And every student that comes to McKay School of Education will have that reminder for this beautiful piece of artwork in this building. Thank you so much for all that you've provided to the McKay School of Education, the College of Fine Arts. Our BYU students are benefiting, the teachers out in the public schools are benefiting, and we are able to do significant and meaningful work because of the wonderful resources you've provided. And this painting shares that message with everyone who comes through this college every day. So thanks to Beverly Sorensen and family. I'm, my name is Charles Graham, and I was able to teach the media arts section of the uh, Arts Academy for several years and I loved it. I loved the opportunity that I had to interact with the elementary teachers who are learning how to do many different genres of art and preparing to go back to their classes. Just a wonderful uh, experience for me to be able to participate in that for uh, three or four years and so thank you for the resources that you've provided to allow us to do this here at BYU. So I work upstairs in the Dean's office and every morning on the way up the stairs I pass that photo of Beverly and um, most mornings when I'm paying attention I, um, I'm prone to notice how beautiful she is in that photo. It sounds a little bit silly but um, she has a kind of sparkle behind her eyes that um, kind of catches my attention. I'm not an educator. I um, work here in the McKay School. I'm a theater person, so I graduated in the arts. And uh, coming at it from that angle, I feel uh, very grateful to people like Beverly and the Sorensen family for um, all of their contribution to expanding children's ability to be creative. The arts are very important and um, Giving our, like the children of our society a space to grow creatively is um, something that I feel very um, thankful for. So thank you to the Sorgensons and to Beverly. This is a special day for me. Uh, I had the honor and the privilege to work very closely with Beverly Taylor Sorensen and many members of her family for a number of years in trying to help to promote and develop the arts uh, not only here in the McKay School of Education and on the BYU campus, uh, but in our public schools, particularly those in our public school partnership here at BYU. Beverly uh, and I met almost 10 years ago, uh, just the two of us in the Dean's office, and talked about her vision of how important it was for every child to have an opportunity to have wonderful experiences with the arts. And then she worked hard and brought many resources, including financial resources, to help us. And we worked together with many others. And now, many years later, we have a very rich uh, arts program in our schools and here at BYU as we prepare our teachers. And I will always be grateful for Beverly Sorensen and her vision and her leadership. And for me, I, I wanted this painting so that her legacy and the important work she did will never be forgotten. And hopefully it will also remind people to always work to keep arts in the lives of the children. Hi, I'm Kelly Newbold and I'm an academic advisor in the David O. McKay School of Education. I just want to say a big thank you to the Sorensen family for all their contributions to uh, education in general and particularly arts education in the state of Utah. Thanks so much. Hi, my name is Doug Allen and I just uh, want the Sorensons to know how much I have enjoyed and appreciated working with Beverly over many years. I was the Fine Arts Coordinator for Jordan School District for about uh, six years and worked in that capacity with uh, Beverly and the other school district um, Fine Arts Consultants and now as my capacity here at BYU with the BYU Arts Partnership and the strength of what you know she has accomplished through all of the um, endeavors and pursuits that she has done through um, 
trying to promote the arts in the state of Utah. It's been fantastic and I've just enjoyed every minute of it and we appreciate so much everything that, that uh, she has done to support the arts. I really want to express to the Swordsman family my great gratitude for their willingness to follow their mother's genius and understanding that arts are not just enrichment for children but are their bread and butter. The fact that she took this little feeling she had when she was a May Queen and wanted to spread that out to, to children is genius in, um, in education and also is just being a human being. Um, I teach here at BYU in the theater department um, with the, with the uh, theater students who are uh, becoming um, certified for K-12 and I also teach pre-service elementary ed students from the, from the education department and, and I'm a BTS specialist so I get to see all all the influence that Beverly's little seed of an idea with the teachers, with the kids, with the practicing <laughs> teachers, with the pre-service teachers, I get to see all of that and I think she would be absolutely amazed and delighted and dancing around if she could see what great effects she's having on children's lives and I'm so thankful for it. I was an elementary school art teacher for 10 years and all during that time I felt like I was just kind of fighting a battle alone to keep art and get arts in the classroom for elementary school kids. So you can imagine how delighted I was to find out about Beverly's program and when I first heard her talk about her vision, I just thought, oh wow, somebody is really doing something and it's just perfectly in line with the way that I felt about how important the arts were for elementary school kids. So I was delighted to be asked to be a professional development partner in the program and work with BYU and, and uh, I've just enjoyed um, being able to do that because I feel very passionate that her program is really, really necessary for kids. Thank you, Sorensen family at Dacian. I just wanted to say um, we really appreciate all of your support for Brigham Young University, especially for supporting the arts initiative that we have here. I know that all of the people we have here that are training to be teachers really appreciate it and for valuing the arts. Thank you. I'm Tina Dykes, uh, Associate Dean in the McKay School of Education, and I'd like to thank the Sorensen family for all of their support of arts in the McKay School and in our public school partnership. And I absolutely love this painting that we've had installed and that we're having an open house for today. I love that we have color in this building and it brings vibrancy and life to our building. So I love it. So thank you, Sorensen family. Sorensen family, I just want to say thank you so much for the generous contributions and funding that you have given to the McKay School of Education. We love the painting and it's going to remind us all the time of the sweet uh, influence of your mother and also the opportunities that we have through the arts to influence students and children. Not only do we appreciate the painting, but we also appreciate all the means that we have been given to be able to teach and influence practicing teachers in the schools who will turn around and influence children for a long, long time. Thanks so much. Beverly's vision about arts education has transformed both our efforts here at Brigham Young University and the state of Utah. And we're so pleased to have her memory uh, memorialized through this beautiful new painting of Robert Barrett's. It'll remind us each time that we're in this building of her tremendous commitment to children in this state and the value that she espoused, uh, the value that they have an experience in the arts all through their growing up years. We're so grateful to remember her in this way.